Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstra. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my Leica talks, all things Leica. So somebody had commented in my recent, one of my recent videos about what the difference experience is shooting a digital Leica versus a film Leica. And so I thought I would bring out my two go-tos. This is my Leica M9. This is the body I use when I want to shoot digital and I've been working on shooting more digital with a Leica as opposed to my typical Nikon way and this camera feels very solid but it requires this thumbs up grip it came with it one of the ways that you save money is when you buy things used if somebody else already bought accessories so somebody else bought this thumbs up grip and it's the match technical one it's brass it's really really solid and I like that. I think it's not that usable without that. And the camera is completely good. It shoots a nice digital color photo, or I can make it in black and white later. And I keep a 35 millimeter F2 Summicron on this camera. And this is my go-to when I'm going out to the coffee shop, going out with, you know, my day without going out to visit family and friends. When I'm going out to visit family and friends, we're working on a personal project, I take the Leica M2. And this one, since the digital camera, I can set it for 640 and probably get an okay photograph, but I don't want to shoot much higher than that on a CCD sensor where you get a lot of noise. On this, because it's a film camera and it's 400 speed film, I have a Summa Lux 3514 on it. So that way I have the same setup for focal length, but just a little bit faster and a little bit smaller of a lens on the M2. Now, body-wise, I think they've made the M2 body a size that makes it really comfortable and it feels like the perfect size for my hand. But when I hold this one, it feels a little bit chunky. And it feels like you can see the difference this one is definitely a lot larger. It's a few millimeters thicker and it feels thicker. And this is the M2 and it's thinner. And I wish that this were as thin as the M2. Now you say that's a slight difference, but it's what makes it feel like this is a smaller, more compact body. This starts to feel chunky. Now, if you say there is an M10 and the M10 did get thinner like that, but the M10 cheated. If you ever look at an M10, instead of the lens mount being flush to the body, it actually sticks out a couple of millimeters. And so they make up the difference by making the lens mount a little bit higher. So if you look at a M10, you'll see a slight raise to that uh, lens mount and that's the way they were able to make it so that they could make the body a little bit thinner but overall I do like this camera I don't know that I love this camera it's not the kind of a camera that I think it's the best way to photograph and it's my most favorite go-to when I think of Leica photography I don't think of this this is just when I need to shoot digital and I want to still stay in the Leica family but this, this feels like I'm shooting a Leica. If you say, what's the difference between the two experiences? This feels like I'm working on something artistic. I'm making something on film. I can put it in my dark room. I can print a photograph. I'm a photographer. I'm not an image maker. I'm not a computer image designer. I'm a photographer. I make photographs. And this allows me to make photographs. And if you had to say, are they both similar shooting situations? Somewhat. I wish that they would put a manual advance <clears throat> into this camera so I could reset the shutter without needing a motor because I'm not a big fan of motor drives in my, and I like the simplicity of a camera that's built without that. But as far as this, this just seems like simplicity. And I feel like I'm holding simplicity when I have the M2 in my hand. So both of them do work in different capacities. 
this is definitely the one that I'm more, I'm, I get more joy out of photographing with, but if you need a digital photo on the quick, this is the way to go. So it's the M9 and the M2. All right, that's today's photography talk. I hope that helps some, and I'll be back next week. We'll talk more like a talk. Send more comments or suggestions into the feedback below, and I can see if I can come up with some more topics for you. All right, if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon or go to supportkenneth.com. I appreciate all my supporters. As always, here's the good light.